<laughs> I'm honored and ultimately delighted to bring you Oliver Gobble. Oliver, how are you? Good, and you, Peter? Good. Nice to meet you here. Good to see you here. Now, I just had a 15-minute listening demo with your loudspeaker. It smoked me. It Thank you. blew me away. Last year, I thought the images were just a little tiny. Mm. This year, it opens up. Huge. Yeah. How long have you been making loudspeakers? Well, my company exists now 14 years. Congratulations. 14 years. That's great. Thank you. And you're right here in Munich. Yes, in the west, western part of Munich. Mm -hmm. Very close to the fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ever. So, um, all, also our suppliers and everything is all around us. So, mm -hmm. um, it's all made in Germany. Mm -hmm. It's all very close to us. Mm -hmm. um, so, we can always check and really have the best quality. So, your quality control, you can like look over their shoulders practically because yes. you're so close. You can yes, just yes, drive yes. over and see them as they're yeah, doing yes. their componentry and doing the CNC machining. Yes. And quality control is a very, very, very important part. It sure is. The highest possible quality of the whole product. The quality control is one of the keys <laughs> to have a stable mm -hmm. um, quality. Mm -hmm. yes. To ensure the customer when he buys something 10 years later, he also can get repaired or some, if something happened. It's no problem for us. We have everything documented, everything. So it's. Well, that's the Past Labs formula and viewers. If you have a manufacturer who stands behind the product, that's part of what you're paying for. You're paying for Oliver Goebel, and you're paying for his expertise and his inventory of parts for all of your loudspeakers over the yes. years. Yeah. Speaking of which, you have a very unique driver. Tell us about the that's way true. bending driver plays. Yes, that's true. That's um, Firstly, this is a bending, stiff bending wave driver. Mm -hmm. It acts over a frequency range from 170 Hertz to over 30K. Everything out of one driver and over the whole frequency range, very um, equal dispersion range and very wide dispersion range, about 170 degree over the whole frequency range. Mm -hmm. So um, the sound is, is um, very uh, neutral, very, very um, lifelike, normal, so to say. It don't have these problems with normal tweeters have. They make n a narrow dispersion in the high frequency. This, this you don't have here. And you have a wide bender. Um, so no crossover between tweeter or mid-range because everything comes out of this driver. Well, that's part of the magic I hear when I listen to the speaker is I hear a coherency, like it is a coherency, single driver. This, uh, yeah, this, this like was a, the word I was missing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are going to be listening in just a moment to the loudspeaker, uh, but tell us about your full line. How many speakers mm -hmm. do you have in your line? Yes, we have the Epoch Reference, that's the big speaker. Mm -hmm. We have the Epoch Fin, that's half of the speaker, the top bus module is missing. Mm -hmm. Then we have an um, um, Epoch Wall, this is the wall speaker, it seems optically like the Epoch reference and height, mm -hmm. but you can put it on the wall, it's only 14 centimeters um, depth. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, the Epoch Bafors mm -hmm. Petit, this is the small subwoofer. Mm -hmm. We have it an active or passive version, what you like. And we have a big subwoofer, that's the double of this subwoofer, it's the Epoch Bafors. Mm -hmm. And this is also an active and passive, mm -hmm. and then we have a controller to control this completely an analog. What do you prefer, active or passive? Active. Yeah. <laughs> but it depends on the on the customer. Some customers prefer some some amplifiers, so that's why we also offer a passive version mm -hmm. of this amplif uh, of this subwoofer. Um, so the customer has a choice. Viewers, what sometimes happens if a designer is at the top of his game like Oliver is and he uses an active amplifier for low frequencies, you get a lot more reach and punch yeah. because you get the speed of that amplifier mm. that is built into yes. the box itself. Yes. Yeah. And, and also, um, uh, in our subwoofer, the small one, there are eight drivers with nine inch, uh, and every driver has its own closed chamber mm -hmm. in this um, uh, enclosure, and every driver has its own amplifier. 
so that's even not better. So there's nothing parallel serial. There's everything. Every driver has its own amplifier in the foot with 250 watts. Well, so. along with that, the finish is impeccable. Thank you. Now, do you have color choices for the customer? Yes, we have two color choices. This is one color choice. This is our standard is silver mm -hmm. and high glossy white. Mm -hmm. And we have a, a, a deep, dark um, um, space gray uh, for the aluminum parts and a high glossy black lacquer finish. This is, these are two standards, but when a customer wants to have it green, it's green, <laughs> so it's no problem. <laughs> because um, that's also um, uh, important for the aluminum parts, it's not only anodized. On top, there is an anodized lacquer on top. I see. Because then you have no color differences. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you have a big aluminum block like this, because this is milled out of a full aluminum block, and you have a small part like this frame, um, you always have color differences when you anodize it because of the mass and the temperature and so, so on. So we put again on top uh, a very expensive lacquer mm -hmm. um, to get the same color matching. So everything looks the same. So you have, and also the screws get this mm -hmm. um, surface finishing. So everything looks very nice and uh, well, I'm standing about one meter away from the loudspeaker, and it is strikingly beautiful. Uh, everything seems to fit together the form and the function, if you'll notice. And the wave bending unit itself, it just seems to fit perfectly into mm. the shape of the whole design. Mm. Mm. It also took a long time to get the shape. It's, it's, um, it's form follows function, but also mm -hmm. the form has to look good. So this is, um, but it all has an acoustical reason why the bending wave is a little bit uh, to the back mm -hmm. when you see from the side. Also the the, the roundings on the side and and to to avoid um, edge reflections. Mm -hmm. And this all has a reason, but it also looks nice. <laughs> so it's gorgeous. Yeah. Can we listen to some yeah, music next? Yeah, of course, of course. Well, great. Well, thank you. Thank you. That was a great description. Thank you. Okay, let's hear some music. Here we go. Grace is like a down body, groovy leather trim. Like the way you hold the raw mama. It ain't no sin talking about love, talking about love, talking about. Trouble free transmission helps your oil flow. Let me pump your gas, let me do it all. Talking about love, talking about love, talking about Take that heavy metal underneath your hood Baby, I could work all night, believe I got the perfect tools Talking about love Yeah. 
gasoline believe I'm gonna crack a head Talking about love, talking about love I can't stop talking about masterpiece. We play that song at shows all the time. And Vanessa's voice can get a little edgy mm. in that song. Mm. And we never get the reach in the bass mm. as we did just now. Oh. Uh, I think that uh, this is surely a gold show winner. Uh, we have also CH Precision Amplification. Yes. We have the Kronos Turntable. We're going to yes. do a video of that next. But I want to just give you just a, a standing ovation for an outstanding achievement uh, and a beautiful, beautiful policy. Thank you very much, Oliver Noble. You're a master speaker designer. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.